So this tube contains a mixture of red and blue sweets. And let's suppose that I want to know the proportion of red sweets in the tube. Well, of course, I have no idea, so I just have to make a guess. So let me guess that half of them are red and half of them are blue. But if I want to refine that guess, if I want to know more accurately the proportion of sweets in the tube, then I need to collect some data. And to collect data, what I'm going to do is to open the tube and have a look at some of the sweets. So what we have is five sweets, and I see that three of them are red sweets and two of them are blue. So that suggests that perhaps more of the sweets are red than blue, but I'm still not certain. So what's happening is that every time I collect more data, I become less and less uncertain, and so I've learned something from the data. Now increasingly, we're doing this sort of thing with computers. Computers are learning about complex and uncertain situations by gathering data and by processing that data. One great example of where we used uncertain data in the past is for matching players for uh, online gaming in the Xbox Live service. And uh, if people want to play a new game, um, we want to match them up with their best possible match in the world. The problem, of course, is we need to estimate the skill of the player before we can create that type of exciting match. So when someone sits down and wants to play a game, they may choose the game mode they want to play, and then they say, please match me with another player in the world. And then the system might match them with an average skilled player, so they can have a good first game, and we can gauge how strong they actually are. Well, our player has lost the game now and we've learned something about their skill, but there's still a great deal of uncertainty here. Any number of things could have happened uh, to make him lose that game. The phone may have rung at the wrong time, uh, maybe he was a bit tired, or maybe he's just in need of a little more practice. So here at Microsoft Research, we've developed the algorithm TrueSkill, which is now used uh, to match millions of players online in Xbox Live. And it can very quickly, within 5, 10 or 20 games, estimate the skills of players and based on that skill estimate, give them exciting and fun matches online. The problems where there's lots of uncertain and complex data are getting increasingly common. So here at Microsoft Research, we've developed a framework called Infer.net. It makes it really easy to write programs to learn from and work with uncertain data. And when you combine huge amounts of data with these latest machine learning techniques, we can make some really exciting applications. So if we have the data of people using a search engine, then we can make their searches more accurate and more useful. If we have information about a social network and what music people are playing, then we can recommend new bits of music and playlists that you're going to enjoy. And in a completely different context, if we have a lot of health information, say children's health records, then we can look at them and understand the causes of asthma and work out better ways of treating it in the future. The future of building intelligent machines relies on embracing uncertainty. And Info.net is allowing us to do this on a scale never seen before.